Lung cancer remains one of the most significant health challenges of our time, affecting millions of individuals worldwide. Today, we're going to learn a little bit more about a lesser known type that you can be tested for. We are joined by Dr. Teha Patil and Janet Freeman Daly about how biomarker testing and targeted therapies can really make a difference in patients. Dr. Patil, I'd like to start with you. Can you tell us a little bit more about ROS1 and why asking for a biomarker is so important? That's a wonderful question. I'm gonna answer that by giving some historical context. So 20 years ago, we would diagnose lung cancer under a microscope and then patients would get chemotherapy and that was it. Times were challenging then. Chemotherapy barely improved survival and most patients didn't live two years. What we have learned in the last 20 years is that we need to push further. We need to understand the genetic makeup of cancers. And this is where biomarker testing comes in because biomarker testing allows us to potentially identify very specific mutations that we can treat with targeted therapies. And targeted therapies tend to be oftentimes in the form of pills. Also, targeted therapies generally are much more well tolerated from a quality of life standpoint. And this really has made a difference in both patients longevity and their overall quality of life. Janet, please tell us your story. So I was diagnosed with lung cancer in 2011 before biomarkers were widely known and ROS1 cancer had not been announced yet. I took chemotherapy and radiation um, twice and each time as soon as I finished treatment my cancer grew. I was told that I would be on chemotherapy for the rest of my life, which would probably be short. However, I had learned about biomarker testing and clinical trials from other patients in online groups. I managed to arrange to get my biomarker testing done, found that my cancer was ROS1 positive cancer, and that made me eligible for a clinical trial where I could take a pill and hopefully the side effects would not be as severe as what I was experiencing with chemotherapy. I took that pill, it worked well for me, and I have been on it for over 11 years. And finally, can you explain why it's important for lung cancer patients to consider clinical trials as a part of their treatment? Clinical trials are really important for patients with lung cancer because they allow these patients the opportunity to get some of the most recent advances in science as treatment options that they may never have had before. When we go back to 2010, biomarker testing wasn't a thing. It was only through research and through clinical trials that patients were allowed to get pills. These pills have really helped patients live longer and live better quality lives. And so clinical trials to me represents the promise of science. And I think every patient should ask their doctor, especially every patient with lung cancer, is there a clinical trial that I could qualify for? Because this truly represents the best science that we know. And from the patient perspective, research gives us more hope. Participating in a clinical trial, I know I will at least get the best standard of care. And the best result would be that I help get more treatments approved so future lung cancer patients have better options. Thank you to you both. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity.